Princess Celestia, I have an idea for your one's bursary. My one's bursary? The 1,111th year anniversary of when you first raised the sun. Good thing Pinkie Pie reminded us. We would have forgot to celebrate. You're not the only ones. What did you have in mind? To commemorate your first sunrise, I've written a play. We'd like to perform it at my school of friendship, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh. Mind? Oh, of course not. Oh, I think a play is a fantastic idea. Did she just... Prince? Oh, forgive me for getting so excited. It's just, when I was at Billy, my friends often put on plays. Oh, it was so wonderful. Every pony coming together to create a magical experience to share with others. I've always believed theater brings out the best in us and forges a special bond of friendship. Oh, I didn't know you used to act. Oh, not me. I was always too busy with my magic lessons to be part of any plays myself. But still, it's something I always wished I could experience. And you still can. Princess Celestia, we would be honored if you would be the star of our play. We would? My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun A beautiful heart Faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? You want me to star in your play? Yeah When did that happen exactly? If you'll excuse us for a second don't you see, Spike? It's perfect. Princess Celestia has always wanted to be in a play, and this one's about her. I guess. But how are we supposed to give her directions? She's the ruler of Equestria. She's also our friend. Celestia's always kind to every pony. So if we have a chance to finally do something for her, we should. Hmm. Come on. How many times has Celestia helped us, guided us, been a warm, calming voice over our shoulder? Twilight. Blah! Blah! Yes, Princess Celestia? Your invitation is very kind, but are you certain it's wise? I have no acting experience at all. Experience? Psh, you'll be playing yourself, and we'll all help you. Please, it'd mean so much to the students if you were in our show. Well, if you're sure... Yeah, what she said. Then I would be delighted to join your theater troupe. Of course, Pinky. How many times have I told you to keep your special effects away from my sets? 327. Oh, unless you just did. Then it's 328. Mm. I can't believe you've memorized your lines already, Fluttershy. Once you get past terrifying, paralyzing stage fright, the rest is easy. Now I just hope Princess Celestia says we can do our play. Oh. As soon as she sees these fabulous costumes, all she'll be able to say is, Bravo! Heads up! Here comes our answer! <laughs> Wonderful news, every pony! Yeah! We get to put on our show? Even better. Princess Celestia is gonna be our star. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, that's how I felt too. Celestia? Starring in our play? This is huge! Well, she was a little nervous at first, but I told her not to worry. With us helping, it'll all go smooth as silk! <laughs> I must find the silk. If Celestia is going to be in our play, we have to take everything up to the next level. None of these old ideas will do. Yeah! Forget my regular party cannon. For princess size effects, we're gonna need Big Bertha! Uh, Pinky! What? Our play is gonna be amazing. I gotta tell every pony I know, and even the ones I don't. Why in tarnation are y'all getting so starstruck? We've met Princess Celestia before, plenty of times. Those were formal things. Galas, world saving. This is different. Imagine doing sweaty warm-ups with a princess, blowing your nose in front of a princess, sitting around just... 
talking with a princess. I'm a princess. You talk to me. That's different. You're not a princess, princess. Uh, thanks. Celestia wants to experience the special friendship the theater ponies have. To give her that, you just need to be yourselves. You... you really think so? <laughs> ah, quit fretting. It's only a couple of pals getting together to put on a ones versary play. What could go wrong? Places, every pony. We're here to rehearse a new day in Equestria. Ahem. <clears throat> Directed, written, and produced by Twilight Sparkle. Page one, act one, scene one. Action! Once upon a time, before Celestia, Equestria was suffering terrible hardship. Raising the sun every morning was so hard, it took five great sorcerers, plus Star Swirl the Bearded, to do it. <sighs> and every day, the unicorns helping Star Swirl would use so much magic, they lost their powers forever. Things looked bleak. Soon, Equestria would lose all its magic users. Then, the land would be covered in darkness for eternity. Even I can't believe how good my play is. The sets, the props, the outfits, they're all great. And here comes the best part. But then, a student named Celestia discovered she had the power to raise the sun herself without draining her magic. Um, that's your cue, Celestia. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> it is time for a new day in Equestria. Um, what? Oh, I said, it is time for a new day in Equestria. And your delivery was great. But maybe you should try it a tiny bit louder for the ponies in the back row. Oh, yes, yes, my royal canterlot voice. Thank you for the reminder, Twilight. It is time for a new day in Equestria! Oh, goodness, this theater does have strong acoustics. My apologies, I'm still learning to hone my craft. No, no, you're doing fine. Why don't we try it one more time, just like you're talking to me? It is time for a new day in Equestria. A bit more energy. It's time for a new day in Equestria! Uh, how is that? Uh, honestly? Great! Wow! It's hard to believe you've never done this before. Let's move on to the dance number! Again! Step, buck, leap, touch! Again! Step, buck, leap, touch! Got it? Moving on! Star Swirl, throw off that musty hat, and let's have a, a dance! Oh dear, I think we have a problem! Yeah, our lead actress is a disaster! If I tell Celestia she's terrible, it'll hurt her feelings, and I'll be a bad friend. But if I keep her in the show, she'll be the laughing stock of Equestria, and I'll be a worse friend. You need to tell Celestia the truth, Twilight. Any other suggestions? Why don't we just cancel the show? Real suggestions? No, think about it. Right now, most of Equestria doesn't even know we're doing a onesversary play. If we shut it down, no pony will ever miss it. So they'll never find out Princess Celestia is a bad actress. And she won't be embarrassed. Ah! That's the perfect plan! All right! I just finished telling every pony to come to our play! You... did? Yeah! You should have seen how excited they got when they found out Celestia was in it! They said they'd tell their friends, and then their friends would tell their friends! Every pony in Equestria is gonna see this thing! Uh... did I miss something? Just a bright light of hope being snuffed. But that's okay. If we can't cancel the show, I know what I have to do. Be honest with Celestia and give the lead role to some pony else? Not a chance. 
Twilight, you know truth is a huge part of friendship. And so is making another pony's dreams come true. Look, I promised Celestia that this time she could be a part of the play, instead of just watching it. And I plan to keep that promise. But how? You want to give me acting lessons? No, 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 no. More like a special workshop with other actors to take your performance from good to flawless. Thank you so much, Twilight. This is what I always knew theater must be about. That special stage pony bond of shared trust and honesty. Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> Princess Celestia, meet Method Mare performers on stage and Raspberry Beret. Ovec, plaisir, your majesty. The pleasure is all mine. If there's anything I can do to become a better equestrian thespian, I will. What do you have planned? Well, I thought we'd make it up as we go along. Uh -huh. Otherwise known as improvisation. Yes, and we can start as soon as we get out of this box. What box? Mm. How's it going over here? That sun will never rise again. That's why I have something even better. Oh, it's the perfect substitute. It was the perfect substitute. <sighs> Please give me something to be happy about. Let's try visualization and your skiing. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, it's so snowy today. Grr, I'm getting chilly. Should I get you a blanket? All aboard! The Ponyville Express is leaving the station. Woo, woo. It is? I don't see anything. Let's be weeping willows in the wind. We are strong in adversity, yet supple as we bow to fate. Well, what do you feel? Nothing. Oh, the classroom floor under my hooves. Does that count? Do I want to know? Wait for it. Pinky Pie! What? It's realistic! The sun is just like a burning marshmallow! What are they doing now? The simplest acting exercise they could think of. A game of charades. A puppy. A duck-billed platypus. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh, I give up. What? My love for Equestria and all the ponies in it. Twilight, you felt what I was emoting, didn't you? Yeah! Now that's the best acting we've seen all day. <laughs> okay! I tried and tried and tried, but we have to face facts. We can't make Celestia an actress, so there's only one thing to do. Tell her the truth, finally? No! Oh. I've rewritten the script to give Celestia a more artistic part with no lines. And to make sure this show's a hit, I whipped up the beats. This is flashy as fake sun. <gasps> uh, Pinky, that looks unsafe. Why would untested magic fireworks that I bought in a back alley from Trixie at midnight be unsafe? Just one simple play, and then everything goes wrong from the stage. 
Twilight, if you honestly felt I was a bad actress, why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to insult your acting. It's just, uh, I got so stressed. But that's no excuse for what I said. You have every right to be upset with me. I'm not upset because you insulted my acting. You're not? I'm upset because in all the time we've known each other, I thought I taught you about the importance of friendship, trust, and honesty. Celestia, wait! No! You can't fly away now! Look! Ponies are taking their seats for the show. <laughs> Standing room only! Did I do a good job of advertising for this thing or what? Sorry. We can't put on a show with no lead actress. You go find Celestia. We'll figure out a way to stall this thing till you get back. Good luck. No pony's gonna volunteer to try to tame that. No pony, indeed. So, <laughs> who likes juggling? Princess Celestia, please wait. Can we talk? I'm afraid I haven't much to say, Twilight. All right then, just listen. You've guided me since I was a filly. You've given me knowledge and advice and friendship. Just once, I wanted to be able to give something back to you. I know what I did was wrong. I should have told you the truth, but I promised you could be in our play. I had to make it work. Nothing would make me feel worse than knowing I disappointed you. You really mean that? Of course! I look up to you more than any pony I've ever met. I hate to let you down. Like I did. Oh. You had good intentions, Twilight. But you know that the truth is always better than a well-meant lie. Didn't Applejack remind you? Oh, about a hundred times. And now? Because I didn't listen to her, I've ruined your whole one's versary. Well, I don't know about that. Isn't there an old saying, the show must go on? There may be a way for us to save the play yet. But how? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, you're not an actress. No, but I am a princess. <laughs> Good news! Free food! Bad news, this play is officially a disaster. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about how to deal with those. You came back! Yes, but let's celebrate later. Right now, we have a show to do. But, but, but how? The audience is about to riot! We have no backdrop, and our lead actress is... <laughs> no longer in that role. Rarity, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, go calm the audience. Let them know the play will start in just a minute. Rainbow Dash, bring us some clouds and place them behind the stage. There, that's our new backdrop. Starlight, do you have a copy of the script? Spike, you narrate the play. Fluttershy will be our new lead. Oh my. Me? Playing you? Will you watch me playing you? Oh no, oh no, I think my stage fright is coming back. <laughs> Visualize with me. You're a princess. Regal. Commanding. Confident. Feel the rising sun's warmth. Equestria needs you. Once upon a time, before Celestia, Equestria was suffering terrible hardship. Raising the sun every morning was so hard that it took five unicorn sorcerers, plus Star Squirrel the Bearded, to do it. <laughs> you call those great sorcerers? <laughs> no, hecklers, what should we do? Spike, improvise. Uh, yes, and uh, raising the sun each day was super draining. But you can see that for yourselves, right? I mean, do these guys look beat up or what? Star Squirrel's so stressed, he's got kinks in his horn! <laughs> <laughs> but that 
that's okay. Because it turns out Celestia had the special power to raise the sun all by herself. It's time for a new day in Equestria. Ugh, in all the commotion, we forgot we don't have a sun. What do we do? We play charades. have such elaborate special effects. Judging by how many flowers the audience threw, it seems our play was a success. I just feel bad you never got a chance to actually be in it. You shouldn't. I never felt I had to be on stage to be a part of the show. All I ever wanted was to share an honest bond of creativity, artistry, and happiness with my friends. And that's exactly what I got to do. Thank you for saving our play, Princess Celestia. You're welcome, Twilight. But from now on, none of you will have to call me Princess anymore. Huh? Wait, what? We don't? No. I had so much fun tonight, I've decided to give up my crown, step down from the throne, and devote all of my time to the theater! You... what? Gotcha. Maybe I'm not such a bad actress after all. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,